In this video, we're going to take a look at the Options page in WordStat. The Options page is important because it determines how your text will be processed, and it is useful whether or not you're using a categorization dictionary. There are three tabs on the Options page, Text Processing, Languages, and Miscellaneous. In this video, we're only going to discuss the Text Processing tab. Please consult the WordStat user guide for an explanation on the other two tabs. The Dictionary Options section allows you to add or remove words from the keyword frequency analysis. When you've not enabled a categorization dictionary, all words that are not found in the exclusion list will be included in the keyword frequency analysis. The Add Words option allows you to restrict the number of words by setting a minimum frequency or case occurrence criterion for inclusion. If you have enabled a categorization dictionary, this option can add to the list other words that are used at a high frequency but are not in the dictionary. The Remove Words option restricts the number of included words or categories to the most frequent ones by setting a minimum frequency or case occurrence criterion. This criterion is applied to both items in the categorization dictionary and words that meet the criterion specified with the Add Words option above. For example, if you're not using a categorization dictionary and you want to include any word that appears 25 times or more, but in no less than five different cases, you need to activate the Add Words option and set the minimum frequency to 25. Then you have to set the Remove Words criterion to a minimum case occurrence of five. Only words that meet both criteria will be included. By default, WordStat removes from the frequency table any keyword or category in the categorization dictionary that is not in the text. Enabling this option will leave the items with a zero frequency in the table. Some words that are too common have no informative or discriminative value. The Remove Items Occurring in More Than N% percent of Cases option allows you to remove keywords or categories appearing in more than a specified percentage of cases. This is applied to both items in the Categorization Dictionary and to words that meet the criterion specified in the Add Words option above. The Keep a Maximum of N Items option allows you to set a maximum number of included words or categories based on their total frequency, number of case occurrences, or on a computed TF-IDF index. This selection occurs only after the previous frequency options have been assessed and only if the total number of remaining items is higher than the specified maximum. If the cutting point falls on a frequency or a case occurrence shared by many items, those with the highest TF-IDF values will be selected. At this point, you may be asking yourself, what is TF-IDF? This is a term weighting scheme that shows how important a word is in the text. It stands for term frequency, how often a term occurs, inverse document frequency, a measure of how much information the word provides. If it occurs in many documents, it's too general and provides little information. So, for a word to have a high TF, IDF, it must occur often, but in few documents. The Text to Include section lets you determine what text to include in your analysis. WordStat is an add-on module of QDA Minor and SimStat. Text files or data files are often imported to QDA Minor and SimStat during project creation. Prior to using WordStat for content analysis, some modification or adjustments may be made, such as adding braces or brackets. Square brackets and braces have special meaning in WordStat. Braces are used to remove a section of the text that you don't want to process, while square brackets may be used to restrict the analysis to a specific portion of the text. This is useful for removing interviewer questions and probes, comments and other verbal interventions made by the interviewer, or to restrict the content analysis to only a portion of the text. The Don't Process Text Within Braces option can be used to instruct the program to skip all text found between braces. 
The Don't Process Text Within Brackets option can be used to instruct the program to skip all text found between brackets. Since WordStat can also be configured to analyze text only found between brackets, these two options may be used to toggle between an analysis of keywords entered manually between those brackets and of the surrounding text. The Characters section allows you to analyze words containing numeric values or a mix of numbers and letters or characters. By default, every word consisting of a numeric value or a mix of letters and numbers is excluded from the analysis. Enable the Accept Numeric Characters option to include those words. The Add Characters Appearing option allows you to specify which characters, besides letters of the alphabet, should be considered as an integral part of a word. For example, the hyphen in ex-wife. Using this will allow this to be treated as one word instead of two words, ex and wife. The Anywhere option is used to specify special characters that will be considered as part of a word no matter where they appear. While the Embedded in Words option should be used to specify characters that should be enclosed within other valid characters and not at the beginning or end of a word. By default, WordStat internally converts all text to uppercase letters, so that processing of words is case insensitive. Enabling the case sensitive option prevents the internal conversion of uppercase letters and will treat two instances of the same word, different in their case, lower or uppercase, as two distinct words. The final section, Case Processing, allows you to randomly select a fraction of all cases and performs a content analysis on a subsample. This reduces the processing time for large files and is especially useful during the initial phase of an analysis where dictionaries are constructed, as it allows you to preview the kind of results that would be obtained on very large data files. You can also include records with missing values. When examining the relationship between textual data and categorical or numerical variables, WordStat will skip any cases with a missing value on any one of those variables. Enabling this option instructs WordStat to include all cases, whether or not values are missing. All missing values are assigned to an additional class labeled as missing. Any analysis involving comparisons between classes of categorical variables cross-tabulation, correspondence analysis, etc., will include this additional class. And the weighting variable option allows the selection of a variable that will be used to apply weighting to the cases. When the program reads a case, the value of the weighting variable for this case is truncated to an integer. This integer value specifies how many times the case will be duplicated. If the value is less than 1, the case is excluded from the analysis. This option is especially useful when the textual data to be analyzed has already been reduced to a frequency list, such as when analyzing a list of the most frequent queries on a search engine. And that brings us to the end of the Text Processing tab on the Options page. Please consult the User Guide for more information about the Languages tab and the Miscellaneous tab.